What's up, comic book fans? I am outside of Ollie's, and I'm going to see what comics I can find inside. What's up, comic book world? My name is BJ Kicks, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're not new here. Um, so I post videos every week about comic books. I buy them, I read them, I unbox them, I review them all for your viewing pleasure. Now, today is a little bit of a different type of video. I am out in the wild. I am hunting for comics at Ollie's. So um, I got a 15% off coupon in my email a little while back and the sale actually expires today. So I was like, well, if I'm gonna find comics, why not get an extra $1.50 off of every $10 I spend, right? So I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you the shelves, what they look like. I'm here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and let's see what we can find, if there's any gold there or if it's all been picked over. So I'm gonna mask up, let me find my mask here. All right, now I'm ready. Now we can go inside. All right, so we're inside. Whoops, let's go. Yeah. This is the little area where they usually have their comics and stuff. So let's see what we've got. Got some Superman trades, Harley Quinn, JLA, Power and Glory, Amazing Spider-Man by Dan Slott. So this is volume two. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, nice little slipcase set. Marvel Legacy of Jack Kirby. Nice Jack Kirby Thor on the back there. Let's see what else they've got. I'm more of a hardcover guy myself. Oh, DC Comics Zero Year. Exploring what happened in the DC Universe when people found out Batman existed and came on the scene. We got Superman Unchained. I actually have this one, but let me pick up another copy. Whoops, just tripped over that box there. All right. We've got Superman Archives, Volume 3. Very cool. Let's see what's under here. I might keep tripping over this box. So sometimes you gotta dig around to see, because like I said, things may be picked over. If you're not familiar, Ollie's is like a discount surplus type store. So uh, maybe Marvel, DC had too much stuff on hand. They'll uh, mark it down to like close out prices for retailers. And Ollie's is one of those retailers that you know will order them now that they're super discounted. Here we go. This is something I actually was looking for. This is She-Hulk by Dan Slott, the complete collection. It's already, I mean, it's $6. This is volume one. In case you missed out on the Omnibus, I know Amazon had the Omnibus for like $40, and I missed out on that, and now it's back up to 90. But I'll buy, I'll pick up the, the thick trade and see if I like it, and then maybe I'll order the Omnibus. So. These Ollie's trades are always great if you are new to comics, if you're just wanting to get into good stories and it kind of help you kind of learn a little bit of history of different characters that you may not be familiar with, but you'll, you know, you'll go give it a shot for $3, $5, whatever. And then before you know it, you've got a pull list as long as a CVS receipt. My patience is so thin, but um, I think I'm definitely gonna grab, I might buy that Dan Slott ASM over, oversized hardcover. Now, in addition to the trades, they do also have these multi-packs here. So, looks like 10 different comics, $6. Got Ultimate Fantastic Four at the beginning. And Archie Comics, Betty and Veronica. There we go. $5.99. 10 pack. Let's 
got and it's got a whole bunch of different um, publishers. It's not just Marvel or DC. So that's cool. I might grab one of those. Do like a little mystery bag unboxing. Here's the section that people picked over. So it's a second hour store. Clearly. Very cool. Got another value bag. Grab bag. There's a whole stuff over here. Bebop and Rock Steady. Mobile Action Steady. Deadpool Secret Secret Wars. Let's see what we got on the top shelves here. There's some calendars. And activity book and jigsaw puzzle. Strictly for the Batman things. So, let's see. Every now and then you might find an omnibus collection here. I don't see one. Usually it'd be like at the top of this little display with the other hard covers. So, I don't think we've got any today. So I'm gonna look through this stuff a little bit more without the camera on and uh, then we'll go to the car and I'll show you what I got. All right guys, so I'm back in the car. This was a very light haul. One, I'm not a very patient person. So sitting and digging through all those boxes of books is just like, it's not my speed, right? Um, but also it was actually really crowded in there. Um, and so I didn't wanna wait too much longer and then lose a good spot in line. But anyway, I also, you know, have a budget, right? Not a family. <laughs> I can't spend all my money on comics. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, first off, I grabbed two of these grab bags. So first one, we've got Batman and Robin in the front, and we've got this cool Spawn uh, issue in the back. Um, but I mean, this is 10 comics, and they're all from different publishers. So I'm excited to see what's inside. Of course, we're gonna do an unbagging video. It's mostly why I got it. I bought it for content, um, not necessarily for the contents. See, see like I did that? And here we go, here's another 10 pack comic bundle. We got the Marvel Action Spider-Man on the front and TMNT, Bebop and Rocksteady on the back. Super dope. Um, so that's it for the single issues. And then, of course, I grabbed this She-Hulk by Dan Slott. Um, complete Collection Volume 1. Obviously, I'm not going to finish out the thick trades. If I like this, I'm going to buy the Omnibus um, because who doesn't love oversized artwork? Look at that. Like, how dope is that? Um, so, yeah. Got that. And then the last item. I told you it was a short haul. Last item is this. Age of Ultron oversized hardcover from Marvel uh, written by Brian Michael Bendis. Um, bunch of people. So this is an older, this is an older hardcover. Um, but I really liked the Age of Ultron movie. Um, I'm hoping this, you know, is similar. I hope, hope it's faithful to the source material. Um, and so I've heard, you know, good and bad things about Brian Michael Bendis. I feel like most people love his Marvel work, but hate his DC work at least from what I can tell. But I mean, this book, originally $75.99, and I got it at Ollie's for $12.99, plus 15% off of that. So that's exciting. So I grabbed that, and yeah, I came out. All of this was just $30.03. So if you have an Ollie's in your local area, I highly recommend you checking them out. No, they're not gonna have the most current stuff. No, they're not gonna have the most rare stuff they're usually going to have stuff that you know people didn't buy on the direct market or it sat in barnes and noble too long or whatever but i mean if you're a comic book fan there's always great stories to be found everywhere um and so who knows you may find a hidden gem or something that 
you put off a little bit too long and now it's way cheaper than it would have been um definitely some cool stuff inside and um that's it so i hope you saw something you like if not it's cool you can buy what you like make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. That's gonna do it for me. Make sure you hit a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Until then, peace.